Welcome back everyone. I'm going to show a script I wrote for Task Warrior. I call this script TAD, T-A-D-D, -D, for Task Add, and this is what it looks like. If I can get my terminal going. So you go TAD, ah, a fuzzy finding menu. I'm going to give it the project of YT, which is YouTube for me. How many tags do I want to add? I want to add two. First tag, just YouTube. Let's do next. And the next one, I'm going to make it Linux. So we have two tags. What's the name of the task? Make a video on Linux stuff. Ah, so the project is, uh, or the task is created. So let's go check out the um, task itself. If I refresh this menu here. And so there's our task. It has the tags YouTube, next, which is the first tag I added, and then Linux. It also has the project YT, and it has the name of that task. So how did I make the script and what does it do? So first I'm just gonna delete this because I don't actually don't need that task. And task context none. Okay, so what did I do and how did I create it? So TAD is just a simple um, script I wrote that uses basically just task warrior commands. So the first thing it does is it uh, assigns this project variable, like what project do we want to add. Um, it assigns it the task list of unique projects piped into Fuzzy Finder, and you get to pick one. So what does that look like? Task unique projects, or project will look like this. It'll give you a unique list of every project in your Task Warrior tasks. This includes completed ones as well. So this way, you can easily find ones where you have sub-projects like home.chore, home.habits, etc. Um, if you just had home, that would be a perfectly valid project as well. So it's every single unique possibility is listed in unique projects, but you have to use this filter of underscore unique. So I pipe that into FZF for fuzzy finding. And that's what gave me this unique list of um, projects to pick from for my task. And that's why I assigned the output of that to project, the variable project, because this all gets built um, later on. Next, I'm getting a count of how many tags I want, and I'm just reading that into standard input, and I get a number. So then I actually use um, the bash math with the double parens, and I'm doing the whole typical for loop, you know, i equals zero, as long as i is less than my tag count, then increment i plus one, and then do these actions. The actions being iterate the count of i equals i plus one, or i plus one, and um, add, uh, the add is the actual, the actual tag we're adding. So we're doing the exact same thing where we do task underscore unique tags, which would do exactly what you expect, it gives you a list of unique tags, including the combinations of um, the ones that actually have multiple tags, such as YouTube Next, YouTube Next Linux, because now at we made that possibility. It's been deleted, but it's still in there. So even deleted tasks still remain in some of your Task Warrior JSON um, files. So like, if I wanted to get rid of that, I'd actually have to go and delete it. Um, and if the uh, if add is null, then, or if add is not null, so we've actually made a selection, then the tag you chose is tags plus the new tag, in which case tag starts off as a null string, so it's just adding tags to an empty string based on this loop. So next, we're going to get the name of the tag from the user. It's just reading in with the read command into standard input, and then we put it all together, where we have a printf, uh, with a dash v for a variable, which means that this create variable is being assigned the value of um, this string with three substrings right here. So project, we list the project, then we add tags because they all start with a plus, which means we're adding a tag. So plus this tag. So each tag in this, this long concatenated string of plus this tag, plus this tag, plus this tag, all gets added into this one. And then the final one is the actual user entered task name. Then I just actually do the actual command line command for task add, and then I'm echoing the 
create string or the variable that I made with this printf variable. And then it creates the task. And that's what we saw in the vit front end I have for Task Warrior was that uh, YouTube next Linux create a Linux video task. And so I will be putting this script up on my GitHub if you would like to um, use it. The only dependencies are, of course, Task Warrior and FZF because I use FZF in here. So I'm not sure if there are any bashisms in this script, but in any case, I just have it listed as a bash script. So let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you've actually created any Task Warrior scripts of your own. I made this specifically because I, I do like using Vit for almost everything, but because of just how many different pieces you wanna to add to tasks, a project, a tag, annotations, um, I just wanted to make the process of just getting all the tags in there or all the, the tasks in there as easy as possible. So just making a script in the command line that gave me like menus to pick from of pre-existing items I already work with, um, these projects and tags that I already have, uh, would just make it so much easier to generate new tasks. And then I can easily go back and add annotations, which is really the only thing I'm missing at that point or a due date. Um, I should test if I actually can just do an empty due date string for no due date. And if that is possible, then I can just start adding a prompt for due date as well. But in the meantime, I will be adding this script to my uh, GitHub repo if I haven't already. And you can grab it um, in my dot files today. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've done any other cool scripts of your own for Task Warrior. I'm always looking for new ways to uh, improve my to-do lists and project management with Task Warrior related items. So if you've done anything, please let me know. I'd love to check it out. And for now, um, that's it. For, so before I go, thanks to my patrons, Alberto and Devin. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And to everyone else, I will see you next time.